Hello and welcome back. The last section of making this app is the fun bit really. It's to test to see if your app works. So the first thing that you need to do is once you're in the blocks editor is open up a new emulator if that's the route you're going to take. So press new emulator and then what should happen is your emulator should load. Now please don't forget the emulator will first bring up this screen and then your emulator phone will load. Once your phone is loaded please wait about two minutes for the emulator to load in full. Okay, now the emulator is loaded in full, I'm just going to open it up and now I must connect to my emulator. So to do this, you go to connect to device and you must press emulator 5554. What that is now doing is basically connecting your app to your uh, machine or in other words, if you had a real phone, by USB cable, just linking it up. So it takes about 30 seconds to a minute to load. So if you click uh, connect to emulator and emulator 5554, it will start to flash code and then your phone go back to the emulator, we'll do nothing for about 30 seconds. Uh, eventually the image will go green in the top corner over there and that will mean that your phone is connected. Before that happens the emulator will load, it'll take about 30 seconds. The emulator will go black and then it'll go into a white screen and then hopefully if this all works out well the app should load straight on your emulator uh, and it should push it through. So we'll just wait 30 seconds. Okay. As you can see, the emulator is now connected, the icon is now green, and it's not gold, and it's not flashing, and the arrow tells me it's connected. The App Inventor software, or, or the online system, has now pushed my app through. It's got the title, it's got an invisible canvas for the moment, because you can't see it, because there's no image attached, but it's also got the buttons. So if I press next, that uh my first image loads, which is the Christmas bells. And if you're not sure what that means, in the index, the item, that's number one. So if I now press the next button, if I'm not at the end, what should happen is I should go to the Christmas candy. Christmas candy. I press it again, I will load Santa. Press it again, I'll load Snowman. Press it again, I'll go to Christmas float. And again, presents. And next one should be Christmas tree. And then Holly. Oh, Holly's not worked. Mm, we'll have a look at why that in a second. And then we'll go to the star. So what we've now got is a range of images. Just so you know, because I'm now at the knife position, this will say, are you at the knife position? If you are, it's going to set me to go to position one and then change the image. So if I press next, fingers crossed, it should take me to the Christmas bells. But uh We're just going to go and have a look why the holly.png image isn't working. And my feeling is, a spelling mistake. So if we go back to the interface, it is holly.jpg. It's not holly.png. So what I need to do is just rename holly.jpg inside of my in uh, box editor to so holly.jpg and press enter. And if it works out okay for us, and we're quite lucky, which it should do, um, if I now go from Christmas bells to Christmas candy to Santa to snowman to Christmas float to present to Christmas tree and fingers crossed to Holly because now it's recognised that we've got that image in our list or in our media. So now let's try the previous and the previous does the exact same job as the first list but it says I'm going to check where you are if you're at the first position Christmas bells then next time you press previous go to star. So if I press previous I go to ooh, Christmas bells because it's put me back to the beginning and then I'm going to go to the star then I'm going to go to the Holly then I should go to Christmas tree because that's next and then present because that's next and then float and then snowman and then Santa and then Christmas candy and then Christmas bells and now because I'm at position 1 it should send me to the star which is position 9. We've now made a very simple image gallery that I can go backward or forward using a list. Good luck but once you've got that done your next technique is to try and enhance it. I'll let you figure out how to do it.